everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation and I'm here today to share with you my third project for October for Country Craft Creations design team. And I'm using the Life's a Journey collection by Graphic 45. I loved it so much. I love the colors and the message in it so much that I bought more through Country Craft Creations. They have everything uh, in this line. They have 12 by 12 papers, which is what I was given in my design team package. They have eight by eight paper stack. They also have journaling cards. They have 3D, or uh, 3D, uh, chipboard uh, pieces. And then they also have die cuts. And I just, I love the collection so much that I bought some more because I wanted to do some other things uh, for myself with it. But in the design team uh, package, I got 12 by 12 papers and I uh, used them to make my um, books that I have already published. And then um, I had just a little bit left over of that. So I wanted to, to see what else I could use. So I have made wall rosettes, which are, you know, wall hangings um, for different holidays that I display in my house throughout the year. And I thought, why not do that for this collection? It has a really awesome message with the Emerson quote, life's a journey, not a de life is a journey, not a destination. And I just, I wanted to really incorporate that. I wanted to make this so I could hang it in my craft room and look at it every day and remember, you know, to, to de-stress, to adventure, to, to try new things and to take the time to really enjoy life instead of being all stressed out about work and and all that so um that's what i ended up doing and i wanted to walk you through the process of how i did it so this isn't really a tutorial but i am going to tell you exactly how i made this so again i used graphic 45 life's a journey i bought you know more through country craft creations but they have everything they have the chipboard stick uh excuse me the chipboard um pieces let me show you here real quick. For the chipboard collection, they have tags, or not tags, but um, journaling cards. They have eight by eight papers. They have the 12 by 12 papers. And then they also have the die cut assortments. And these were incredible. And I incorporated some of those into my project. But let's go through the project here real quick and I'll tell you how I did it. So, um, they were, they also gave me some My Colors cardstock, which is the first time I have used those, um, or that particular uh, kind of cardstock. So that is available at Country Craft Creations. And um, they gave me 12 by 12 papers. So I incorporated those. And what I did was the process was pretty simple. So I took one of the My Colors um, cardstock, which was in um, Goldenrod, and I cut a 12 by 12 circle. And I just used a compass I found the center um, by connecting the corners and then put the compass in the middle and then drew the circle and cut it out by hand. So that's how I did that. You could totally do this on like a Cricut or a Silhouette as well if you wanted to um, and use that as my base. And then I had um, two papers left over with this particular striped pattern with all the beautiful colors that came in the collection. And I thought, well, that's the perfect background. So what I ended up doing was cutting these into strips that were five and a half by 12 inches long and then made my rosette. And the rosette, the score lines here, are done every three eighths of an inch. And what I ended up doing was I would do it at, um, I did it alternating. So I did, let me go through this um, super quick. So on the, on the front side, I did it at three eighths and then um, continued on. And I'll put this in the description. Um, so that you can see how I did it. Um, I, so I did every other three eighths. So, um, let's see, how can I explain this? I did, I started at three eighths and then, um, every three quarter inch after that. So, and then I turned it over and then I scored in between those. So I hope that makes sense. So let me, I'll actually just, let me just show you real quick. So I know this isn't a 12 inch piece of paper but you're gonna get the idea. So on the front side, I did it one, two, so there's three eighths, and I did a score. And then when you count three quarters, you can, you can just count to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which would be one and an eighth, and I made a score. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be one and seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did it again, and so on. And then once I got done with that, I flipped it completely over, and then in between those, went ahead and made score lines so that every score line was at three eighths of an inch. And the reason why I did it opposite is that you're gonna fold this into a rosette. And I think most of us have done rosettes before. You want the score lines to go with the way you're folding. So this makes a nicer rosette. It lines up much straighter. And then you do, you um, have a really pretty rosette. So on the big one, that's what I did, every three eighths of an inch. And I, opposite, I did it the opposite. Um, you know, so that it folds up right. I hope that makes sense. So in the description, I will have that actually laid out so you have the actual measurements um, and you don't have to do all that counting if you don't want to. Um, so what I did was then um, I did those 12 inch pieces all the way across and then I connected them all together to make the giant rosette in the middle and then used my hot glue gun and I had cut a uh, circle just out of some scrap cardstock, and this is, I think it's, yeah, two and a quarter inch circle um, to put in the middle of the rosette, you know, to glue it down and, and hold it down. And I did that on either side. So then I had that particular piece, okay? So then um, I took a loop of the seam binding And in between the cardstock and the rosette, I glued this loop down. This bow is separate, and I glued that on top of that to make a pretty. So that's how I did that. So I glued on the base, I glued the loop, and then I put the rosette down, and then I put the bow on top of that. So that was that's the hanging piece that we're going to see. And then, so then on top of this, I like to put other kinds of either rosettes, I've done that in the past, or do some sort of a doily kind of thing. So I went on my silhouette. I, I love my silhouette. I have a Cricut. I have a silhouette. I love my silhouette. Um, <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite machine. I, I, I really do enjoy using my silhouette. So I went on and I found this lacy, it's called Lacy Wreath by um, Samantha Walker. and I purchased the commercial license for it. Um, and I cut out, out of some black artisan cardstock, the base doily, and then the purple is of the My, um, um, my Colors cardstock from Country Craft Creations, and this one's in Grapevine, and, the, and they gave me that in the uh, design team package. So um, I've, did the pieces for that. So that's how I created this inner doily. You could do all kinds of things. You could do another rosette um, and just make it um, smaller. Uh, you could use a giant doily. You could, you, it, the choice is yours. You could do a bunch of different things. So, um, but that's what I did for this one. Now these gem dots here that I put in the accent pieces on this doily are from Graphic 45 and they're from a design team package that I got a couple months ago and I have been incorporating those into this um, collection because they fit just absolutely perfect. Um, so then after I did that, then I made these little uh, rosettes to put on there and I incorporated some of the die cuts from this that I had purchased separately. and. I'm telling you, if you can see this, there's some beautiful pieces in here. So I incorporated those into this project as well. So now before I get too ahead of myself, once you have your base and your base rosette done, then I made this pretty little ribbon streamer. Now, um, the yellow organza back here and this purple ribbon here I had in my stash. And then I layered some of this polka dot 
um, ribbon that I got in a previous design team package that I had a little bit left over. So I used that, which I thought really accented everything. And then I had seam binding that I was given in this particular month's design team package that I used to make the ribbon um, on the rosette. And then I used one of the die cuts that says life is a journey, not a destination um, on that piece. It was a tag piece and it fit just perfectly. So I put those together. And glued that underneath this doily piece and then put that down. And again, I used hot glue because um, I wanted to, I was kind of in a, not a hurry, but I wanted it to set fast so that I could keep working on it because I was just like in the creative mode and I just wanted to keep going. Um, so I did do that. And then, um, then that's when I made the rosettes. Okay, so these little rosettes, now I made um, two of them were, and I'm looking at my notes here, two of them were strips of, 12 inches by one and three quarters. So those are the bigger ones. And then the smaller one, smaller in diameter, I should say, is 12 by one and a half. And I just, I scored those at half, a quarter of an inch. And again, I did the same thing. I started at a quarter and then I um, did it every uh, half inch and then I flipped it over and then I did the in-between spots at quarter of an inch. And then just made the rosettes out of here and to um, glue them down once you make them. I used a one inch punch that I had some spare cardstock um, to, to do that. And then I layered some of the die cuts. And this one I used a little bit of seam binding in because it was a tag. And then this one is a clock and it says take the time in it. And I just love that. And then this one here actually was like a quote, but I cut off the little, you know, the little word bubble little things that, um, they have on them. I just cut it off to make it an oval. And then I layered it on top of this uh, little doily punch that I had in my stash. So I did that. And then I layered them when I adhered them with some foam tape so that they are, have some dimension to them. So this one is flush onto the doily. This one is layered with a little bit of foam tape and then this one has a little bit more. So it has some dimension. You can kind of see that that way. And then I went through the die cut pack that I bought has some wonderful little frilly things, um, little flourishes that I used and some leaves. So I kind of stuck those in and then um, I was, I needed a little bit more. And so I had this punch in my stash that I used up in here and some of my spare um, cardstock or a pattern paper from the collection, some of the scraps, and made some more. So you could totally do that with any of the punches or anything that you have in your stash to use your scraps and make some more flourishes. And I got in my stash, got some, uh, got some uh, bling, because I love my bling, and this was in a darker color, which I thought was perfect for this um, piece. And I layered that in between underneath the rosettes, and that's how I did it. So. That is a really cute, easy project. And again, this is something that you could do for any other holiday that you may have coming up. And as a matter of fact, let me grab one. I'll show you what I did in the past. And this has been one of my Halloween decorations for several years now, but hang on just a second. I'll go get that. So I'll just show you this real quick because you can totally do this for different holidays and whatnot. I used a little bit bigger uh, pieces of, uh, of pattern paper on this one so it is a little bit wider but again you know put a loop for hanging you can make another rosette to layer it put your little um you know assortment of things i used a doily here and some flowers and then you know you've got your ribbon trail here and this just it's really cute you could do this for christmas you could do it for valentine's day you could do it for just every day this one is going to be my inspiration piece in my craft room to try and remind me to settle down, take the time, enjoy things, don't get so stressed out. Um, my job is pretty stressful sometimes and uh, you know, just relax, enjoy things and take the time to do that. 
So I love this collection. This one really, really spoke to me, and I am so thankful that um, they gave me this as my design team package. But I hope you enjoyed um, this kind of walkthrough of my project, and I hope it inspires you to make things. Um, you know, again, you could do this for everyday things. You could do this for special things, um, holidays, baby showers, whatever. Um, it's fun. It's a great way to use up pieces that, um, you know, you have scraps left over from a paper collection. And again, this really didn't take very much paper. These were made out of scraps. This piece here, the rosette under the bottom, did take two pieces of patterned paper. And then I did use um, a 12 by 12 black card stock that was artisan card stock that I had purchased. The uh, My Colors yellow and the My Colors purple were given to me in my design team package. Um, but really, it's not that much paper and um, you, you can go through your stash, grab your ribbons, do your die cuts. You have a beautiful piece um, and it's, it just turned out gorgeous and I, I really enjoyed making it. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Um, if you do make one, uh, please show me. I would love to see what you create and I hope that you guys have a really good crafty day and I can't wait to come back and show you what I get for November. So you guys stay crafty and have a really good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.